Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to an explanation video about transmission versus opacity. If you are new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. Tutorials include software such as Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up that software, and let's get started in clarifying what exactly is transmission and also what is opacity and how is it implemented in 3D. But let's talk about transmission first. So transmission allows light to go through the object and scatter. So it's usually used for water, glass, things like that. So here's an example of transmission. So transmission is great for bodies of water. If you want to create some sort of glass windows and of course splashes of water, it's really fantastic for all that refractive material. Now opacity is a little bit different because the light not to travel through it at all. So it's almost like a cutout. So for example, it doesn't matter if you have diffuse, specular or anything, opacity will in fact affect the entire shader. Opacity is great because you can use things like a black and white image to create things like blades of grass or dripping paint. But the biggest thing that opacity is used for is for foliage and also for hair. So it's particularly in game engines. So a lot of the hair that you see in games actually in fact is a bunch of planes with opacity maps. Look how many planes they have to get this type of beard. Pretty amazing. All right, so let's see this in implementation in Maya. So let's jump into Maya. All right, so let's talk about transmission first. I'm going to assign a new material. So right click, assign a new material. I'm going to be using Arnold's AI standard surface and I am using Maya 2023. Let me scroll up. The default is going to look something like this. Now, the nice thing about this file is that you can download it for free at academicphoenixplus.com. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com and you can follow along. And I'm going to call this transmission just so we can keep things clear. And the first thing I'm going to do is just crank up the weight to one. So I'm leaving everything at default and then I can press render. Now I have a whole video about transmission and what it does, but basically, as you can see, it turns into glass. And what's great about transmission is that I can also change the color and the color will change as well. So what does that mean? Well, what's fun is that I can actually plug in a map. So if you guys ever want to create a rose window or a stained glass, you can go ahead and plug it in. So let me zoom in here and might as well turn off this gate. And you can see right away that we're getting some really nice effects. Now it's not like a cutout, it, you can still see through the object, but it's more reflective than it is a cutout. And to improve this render a little bit better, let's go back to transmission. And I'm going to reduce the transmission just a little bit so color is available and I'm going to plug it in in color, the stained glass. And I'm also going to plug it in into the specular color. So we get this really vibrant looking glass window, which is pretty cool. And the best part is if I can get the right angle going here, let me just go ahead and twist this around so it's facing the sun. You will actually get shadows to look like the glass. So that's the best part is that you actually get shadows that look like the glass, just like in reality. Thank you, Arnold. So let's see what it looks like here. So let's go to transmission and the UVs mm, could be better. So that's why it looks like that. But let's see what that looks like. All right. So you can get a similar effect, but this time it's got a thickness to it. So with transmission, light basically hits it and then refracts, right? So it bends. So let's talk about opacity. So opacity means that, and again, I'm going to assign well, actually, let me just duplicate these. I'm going to duplicate this, control D and lift. And let's assign a new material. And this is going to be opacity. So opacity means that it's basically a cutout. It uses a black and white image to be able to cut out the surface. So in, in this example, I have a leaf, right? And I also have a black and white image of a leaf. And anything black you don't see and anything white you will see. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to go to my opacity and the first thing I'm going to do is connect the color. So let's go to file, let's go to that folder and let's grab the leaf color. There you go. 
So obviously the UVs are not perfect, so that's why it looks like that. Now the magic happens is not in transmission. We're going to be using opacity. So you'll find that under geometry. So scroll down till you see your geometry and then you see opacity. Right now it is white. If I swing this to black, it looks like that. And then if I render, they're not even there. That's because when it's black, you don't see it. So let's plug in that map. It looks a little weird, but let's see what that looks like. So we get exactly what we want. We get a cutout of the objects. It almost looks like it's just a piece of geometry with that looks like the shape of the leaf. And you can see here that it's got a little bit of thickness. Now let me turn it over just a little bit so we can see the look. And it almost it's like double layered because one side and the other has the same texture. So it's kind of neat. Um, but if you want to create a tree or any type of plant, you definitely want to use this plant is a flat surface, not something that has two surfaces. So, um, avoid a cube you want to do is a plane. So what happens if you plug it in just because I like to demonstrate to you guys what happens when you plug in the wrong one. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. And again, I'm going to assign a new material and I'm just going to call this oops, just because, you know, I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to plug in the leaf color but let's say we plug it in into the transmission so we have my transmission i'm going to increase it to one and it looks like it disappeared but if i render i'm going to get glass so let's go ahead and plug it in into color so let's plug this in and i'm going to grab the leaf alpha and hit render so what I get is almost the exact opposite. So when we look at transmission, anything black you do see and anything white you don't see. So you get this effect. Is there a way to reverse it? Yes, it's actually, you can go into Photoshop and flip it, but um, Maya provides a bunch of options for you. So let's go to color, let's click on this. Let's scroll down and we're gonna click is invert. So scroll down into effects, invert, and you can see the effect automatically. This area looks like glass, but the area that has the um, that's black, it looks like the object. Now we can ch turn on alpha is luminance, and we can also change this into raw. And I sometimes like to close it and open it up again to see if I get any changes, because sometimes that helps. And you'll notice that the color is basically gone. So I'm just going to reduce the weight just a little bit so I can bring back the color. And now we have our leaf covered in glass. So if you guys want to create something that looks like there's a leaf stuck in glass or if there's a leaf st or, or a sticker stuck on your windshield or something like that, um, this is the fastest way you can make you can do that. So let's take a look at all three of them. And let me turn on my resolution gate so I know exactly what I'm rendering. And I'm going to take these and just kind of hide them. Give it a second to render and there we go so we can create glass using a, a file we can use a black and white image to create a cutout in opacity or if you want to make it look like it's stuck in glass you can put it in transmission but the ideal scenario is that you want to put a color file in transmission to get a glass looking surface and if you want to create something that looks like it's a cutout then you would do a black and white image in opacity. So hopefully that helped clarify the difference between transmission and opacity. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. Well, let me know by leaving a comment below. If you guys like this content and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you like this content and that you want to see more. Let me know uh, in the comments if you have any questions or confusions about anything under in shading or in Maya. I would love to try to help you out. Take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you can find free resources such as 3D models, trainings, ebooks, and so much more. A lot of free content. And while you're there, take a look at my e-courses. Those are courses that you can purchase. E-courses are a deep dive into Maya, including modeling, UV mapping, and te texturing and lighting, plus rendering. So it is a jam-packed video series, and it would be amazing if you could purchase one or two, which is a huge support to me. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time. Keep creating and I will see you next time.